Alright guys, Constant Gaming here and welcome back. In this video I'm going to be showing you the two new biomes that have been added into Ark in the latest patch. That is the Swamp Biome and the Snow Biome. But before I go into that, I want to show you the strange thing that they've done to the obelisks. The green obelisk has now been swapped with the blue obelisk, placing the blue obelisk where the red one was. That means the red obelisk is now where the green one was and they've all been swapped around in like a circle type of form. They've kind of done this in the way that it makes sense, that they've colour coded the map. Red for the sandy deserty area, snowy the snowy area has the blue obelisk, and the swampy foresty area has the green obelisk. Now here's a look at the swamp. As you can see it's just like a forest, but very very dense and with a lot more water. The mobs that you find in this area are frogs, or the beasley bufos, or however you pronounce them, I can't pronounce them that well, the sarcos, or the crocodiles, and titanoboas, and you do find the occasional piranha here and there. Now as you can see right here, there's some sort of strange plant. It looks exactly like the plant, the turret plants, the plant species X, but it actually is missing the turret bit on the top or whatever it is. But these things here give you loads and loads of the plant, plant X species seeds, which gives you a whole load of turrets basically for you to grow of your own in your base. The swamp biome is relatively large and it covers a good percentage of the map. It has replaced all the beachy and sandy areas with it and it is definitely not a safe place to be. There is, It's so dangerous, you don't want to tame a crocodile or anything down there, you're just going to end up getting it killed. Moving on to where the old Blue Ark used to be, they've changed quite a few things around of the map. They've removed the old swampy area with this huge lake. And I must say it is really, really good looking. I prefer this over the old swampy area. And they've also added this really nice detailed stream down to the left, which is pretty cool. Moving on to the snow biome, this is really not a place you want to be, well, without fair armor anyway. If you come here in any other armor, you're pretty much going to die. You get the freezing cold effect which starts to drain your health quite fast the amount of time you spend here. You'll find a lot of wolves and the new deers here, I, I don't, it, the deers or something like that, I forgot the proper name for them. They do have a really messed up name so I'm just going to call them deers anyway. But you get pelt now from the... I think you get them from mammoths and I know you get them from wolves. Wolves normally spawn in about packs of six. And you use the pelt to craft fur armor which will allow you to survive here for longer. Also with this mountainy area it looks like they've uh, changed the resource spawns a bit. Metal seems to be a lot more spread out at lower grounds now and there seems to be a lot more of it. And there seems to be an abundancy of crystals. There's just crystals absolutely everywhere. You can fly down to the lowest point possible on the mountain and all you'll see is crystals everywhere. So if you ever do need crystals, I definitely recommend you come into the snow biome as you'll, you'll never fail to find any.
when this update did come out, everyone who lived in the swamp, the old swampy area where the new swamp is, and the red arc, old red arc area, has had their base wiped. So if you did live anywhere near there, your base will be gone, and there's nothing you can do about that really, you're just going to have to start again. I guess this is somewhat unfair for official servers. Some people will lose their bases, and the majority of people won't. It depends where you really live. But if you're in any of the new biome locations, you've guaranteed lost your base. And, well, you were given a month, I think it's not a month, you were given like two weeks in advance to move, so you can't really complain about it that much. You've seen on the patch notes that it said when it was coming out. So you've had plenty and plenty of time to move. Alright guys, I just want to thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time when we take a look at the other new dinos, the dire wolf and the new deer. See you then.